I'm Matt Wagner, and thank you for coming to BanjoCorp.com. Today we're going to have a quick tip about flow meters. An important thing to remember that when you're working with the meter, you need to have approximately 10 times the diameter of straight flow running into the meter and discharging from the meter. So for example, if we're working with a, with a two inch meter, then we would have 20 inches of straight flow into the meter, 20 inches of straight flow exiting the meter. And when we're asking for straight flow, we would need to have spray hose, smooth rubber hose. Question that comes up all the time is, can I use the Bumblebee style hose? No, it has serrations on the inside of it. Serrations cause air. Air is not a conductive material. You need to keep in mind that the meter works better with materials that are highly conductive. Fertilizer, water, very conductive materials. Things such as petroleum-based items, fuels, diesel, 2,4-D, for example, are not conductive materials. A couple quick things then as we're going to set up the meter. The buttons are not contact style, so you just need to cover it with your thumb, block out the shade. The meter has three different buttons, the on-off button, and then basically your batch reset, and built within there is on the outer two buttons will be your ability to change it from gallons or over to liters. So if you just hold down the two outside buttons, then you can change that function again from gallons to liters. As far as it operates, when you don't have correct flow going to the meter, it will throw up a signal, EP, and that just in essence it stands for empty pipe. When you're going to set the meter up, what you want to do is you want to rotate the face approximately 45 degrees. What that does is help then with the accuracy of the meter. General maintenance of the meter is not a whole lot. It has six AA batteries that are inside. You just remove the four Allen headed screws on those. You can lift up the screen, replace those batteries. That's a good thing to do just regular on an annual basis. The four probes that are inside, it's a good idea to take a stiff bristle brush or something and scrub those probes. Depending on the material that you're working with and how it, it cakes or how it would build up. Just another quick tip from Banjo Corporation and thank you for visiting our website.